All right, we, what we have here is an example of a fluency evaluation and a teacher who's doing a running record. And what they did was to print the standard fluency test, whatever fluency test they're using, print it directly onto the dot paper. And the advantage to doing this is that now we can capture the student's audio. So let's listen to this first grader. This is Mackenzie. I'm seven years old and I'm in first grade and I'm reading a story and the title is Between Them. Jen and Rick had five pet rabbits. Sometimes the rabbits got out of their cages. Okay, I'm going to skip down because, as you'll see, the student had um, very little trouble here at the beginning, but did have quite a bit of trouble here in the middle. So I'm going to take it off of pause and skip it forward. Because sometimes, even as a professional, I want to go back and listen to what the child said, really to check my own hearing. Did she really say that or did she say something else? So I'm going to take it off of pause and then jump it forward to check and see if I heard accurately. Then, Jen, which it, Rick made two lines about ten feet uh, apart. On the on the sidewalk. Okay, so what you observe the child doing is that there are certain words that she's miscalling. She called pointed, painted. She called hopped, hoped. And she had long pauses before some of the words. So the advantage of being able to record the child is that after we did this, this evaluation, I let the first grader come back and then listen to her own voice. And what you see happening is that as they hear their own voice and see the words written on the page, they start self-correcting. For an example, when she got to this word, to hopped, she had called it hoped, and yet when she heard her own voice, she said, well, of course, it's got two P's in it. It's hopped, it's not hoped. And then when she heard these long pauses here, which she had several of, she, would, she said out loud, wow, I'm, I'm really waiting a long time before I say that word. I'm trying to sound it out in my head before I say it out loud. And interestingly, that was a strategy that they were using in class right then. And so she was actually able to articulate that strategy and knew what she was doing. The other wonderful part about having the child recorded is that now not only do I have a score, but now I have the child's uh, reading archived. So I might want to uh, look at what did the child sound like at the beginning of the year, the middle of the year, the end of the year. And if I had the parents coming in for a parent conference, I could easily sit down with them and point out some of the areas that we need to work on so that the parents are in alignment with what we're doing in school. And I don't have to just describe it. They can actually hear their child's voice, and then we can discuss it.